So uh, I started about a year ago with SAP, developing SAP solutions to put up in the cloud, working with the uh, research labs in Palo Alto. And up until about December last year, it was primarily theoretical, doing proof of concepts, uh, IDES systems and things like that. In October last year, October, uh, November, the project that we were doing with a meal services company for CRM promotions management uh, started to kick off and the infrastructure team involved in that couldn't provide the kit and the infrastructure quickly enough so my my immediate boss came to me and said is there something that we can do in the cloud so I said yes we we absolutely could and he said how quickly can you do it and I said well give me a week and we'll, we'll see what we can do so in five days, we architected a flexible solution and we then deployed ECC, BW, uh, CRM and um, Solution Manager, just straight CRM, mm -hmm. so it was using the web UI. Mm -hmm. So we deployed that in four days, one day for architecture and four days for actual build. Uh, that was then made available to the development teams to actually to start their development. Okay, so in essence what you're saying is that you, you are able to deploy the SAP um, infrastructure, yes. ECC6 applications, CRM applications, yes. um, and other options and sods, for want of a better word, Yes. In order to create, what, what, what were you attempting to create at that time? What was the exact solution you were after? What we were after was to create a blueprint environment, an agile blueprint environment that was flexible. Uh -huh. So, for example, we initially deployed BI, BW, as a pure ABAP stack. Yeah. The requirement then came in from the business team, from the developers, to deploy the Java stack for enhanced reporting. So what we were able to do was actually to install the Java stack yeah. on that server and immediately and dynamically scale it out to increase the amount of resources to enable us to run the BI Java, just as a demonstration of how flexible the, the, the platform actually is. Amazon, they deliver templates for servers that have particular CP and particular memory configurations. So what we were actually able to do was design SAP profiles that were designed for those CP and memory configurations. So whenever we deployed the PI Java, all we did was we moved up into the next template and then put in the new, the new SAP profiles. And within uh, maybe half a day, we had a, a, an up and functioning BI Java system, including the uh, connections back into the BI app, app stack. So, was this, when you say flexible, was the idea that this should be um, scalable in terms of, I don't know, I mean, you tell me, is it numbers of people, is it number of, I don't know, you tell me. The, the actual sizing and things like that coming out of the SAP research labs, I don't have a massive amount of information about at the moment. In our experience, the, the way we have done it at the moment is that it is scalable, certainly vertically, yeah. uh, by using the, the, the larger sizing templates, and, and Amazon have produced larger sizing templates as time has gone on. They've gone from systems that have, for example, four cores and 7.5 gigs of RAM as a standard large instance to extra large which is 17 gigs of RAM and 8 cores. They now do quadruple memory, quadruple CPU, so you've got 32 cores and nearly 80 gigs of RAM. So you can scale vertically but you can also scale horizontally and add application servers. As Amazon like to say, it's a nearly infinitely scalable platform. So it is. So why did, it, why did um, the client want a cloud-based solution specifically? It's all very well talking about flexibility, but I mean... It was the speed of, it was the rapidity of deployment. In four days, I was able to stand up seven servers yeah. to service that solution. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that, that included the, the download of the software, the architecting, the networks, the disks, the setup of the operating system, the SAP installations, the connections, CUA, SGEN, all done, four days. 
Okay, how would that compare with a, a standard on-prem deployment, roughly speaking? Well, if you take, for example, the deployment of uh, SAN uh, storage, so I'm able to deploy terabytes of data in minutes right. and carve it up without any problems. Yeah. In order to do that in a real-world scenario on on-premise, yeah. you've got to have an engineer come out, you have to have enough disk, you have to have that allocated and then presented and so on and so forth. Whereas I can just say I want a two terabyte LUN allocated and presented to the system and less than two minutes later it's there. Okay, so you, s you said to me earlier that you'd been doing this a number of times. Does that mean that this kind of configuration you can pretty much replicate as many times as you need for as many customers as you need? Broadly uh, speaking? Broadly speaking, yes. Right. With, within Amazon, what you can do is you can actually template uh, particular uh, machine images, which is the operating system mm -hmm. and various components. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is you can then store that within a, a company top-level account. What you can then do is share those images into your lower-level customer accounts. Yeah. And that's how you can actually you know, create a hierarchy yeah. Uh, of images and things like that. Okay, so from a customer customer deployment perspective, they get the benefits of speed, yep. benefits of flexibility. What about costs? That's always okay. the, 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 the thing that um, is on my mind at least. Okay, those seven servers with about three terabytes of storage had a run rate of a few thousand pounds a month. I costed that against a traditional hosting environment, including 9 to 5 support and backups and things like that, that had a run rate of over £10,000 a month. So there was. Uh, so are we talking about a factor of 50% reduction, 60% reduction? You're probably talking closer to 60%, but you do lose things within that. So your backups, you can create a 28-day cycle with your backups, right. but it's, it's disk to disk, so it is. So it's not tape backup and you, there is a little bit more management there. Also, you don't have 9 to 5 uh, operating system support coming from Amazon. You have to supply that yourself. But that will come in the future. Uh, if you're paying for Amazon premium support, I think there are options there. But in the main, you really have to take care of it yourself for now. Okay, I don't know so what they have coming down the line. Okay. So, if we were to just to try and sort of wrap it out a little bit more. Yeah. We know that we've got maybe about 60% initial cost reduction. Yep. Are we talking maybe add back another 10, 15% for the bits that are missing, or 20%? Or what would you, what would you kind of guesstimate? Uh, I, I don't honestly know. Right. Uh, the we're actually within Capgemini pulling together our first AM models right. on on how to do this. Right. We're seeing quite a lot of traction with customers, and they are asking these types of questions. So we are developing those models as we speak. Right. What what sort of impact do you think that will have on the actual application development itself? In the sense that you know, if you've got the infrastructure stuff done, mm. it's like well, if we can do that, what else can we do? Do you know what I mean? I think. From the things that we have seen here today about deperimeterizing the, the SAP Fortress and making things more agile and more available, by putting it up in the cloud, we are actually taking potentially a lot of things outside of the corporate firewalls. So we can actually expose these SAP systems a lot more easily to those external web services and things like that and do the agile development and get the business buy-in so that whenever we actually come to implement this on premise, if you know in the productive landscapes, it actually becomes a much easier sell to the uh, to the business that this is a really good thing. Also with the flexibility and speed of deployment, you can have multiple projects working off copies of the development system that have been stood up in minutes because you have that master template with all the disks and you just go, I need another development system, okay, give me five minutes, start that image and away you go, do what you need to do. It does involve a little bit more configuration management and transport management, but a company that has good, strong change control mechanisms will be able to manage that.